Wardy, we've come to Hartbury this afternoon and secured a 31-7 bonus point win. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, first half, probably not exactly where we wanted it to be, but I thought a uh, very good second half performance against a good side. and They've only just been beaten here a few times. All their results have been close. I thought the boys played really well second half. As a kind of whole performance, do you think that can be almost a benchmark for, a, for away displays for the rest of the season, particularly that second half, which was very impressive? I still think we've got a few critics to answer it in, in, in that respect. Um, but yeah, I thought there was some. I thought we mixed up our game really well. We played in the right areas. We applied pressure upon pressure, and that's all we can ask and force the errors and wait for the opportunities. I absorbed a lot of pressure in that first half, and as you said, took the opportunities right on half time. A try, which was much needed, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean they're a good side, aren't they? They um, they play some really good rugby. They got two different types of tens that play a, a different style, um, and we knew that they would play well with ball in hand. We've known that over the years that that's how they play. Um, and they got some good carriers and we had to absorb the pressure, but I thought we did that well. How pleased were, we, were you with the defence today to limit, uh, limit them to just seven points? I'm sure Codders will turn around and say that he'd have preferred it at zero, but I think to come away from home and only limit a team to seven points um, is a fantastic performance and effort from all the players. Uh, took our chances in the second half as well to get over for the bonus point. Uh, around the 60 minute mark, it looked like we might be frustrated just at three, but uh, managed to pull away at the end. Yeah, it's something we spoke about at half time, just up in that intensity and up in our pace of the game. And I thought the guys did that really well constantly. And I felt they were almost trying to slow it down a little bit second half. We just had to be a little bit patient there and the chances would come. And we probably blew, I think Will Harry's maybe blew a couple of um, opportunities um, that he'd have liked to have finished as well. And we could have maybe got one or two more. Um, obviously, that's the end of the second block of the championship. We go back into B&I action. Um, as an end to the block, we must be delighted with that. Yeah, I'm sure we'll look back and um, we are extremely happy. We'll always look back at that Nottingham game and think it could have been a little bit more. But overall, I think um, I think we're halfway through the season now and I think we'll be, we're will be we very pleased with the position we're in. Um, it's just about our own game and keep developing that forward. Um, and leading into the B&I, obviously a massive opportunity now to take control of that pool. That'll be, that'll be the aim over the next couple of weeks with a double header against Rotherham, won't it? Yeah, well, I think first and foremost, we only just beat them um, last time and... We felt we left a lot of opportunities out there, so we need to go and correct that. It's a tough place to go and play, um, and we'll have them two weeks in a row, so we, you don't often get that at this level. So that provides different challenges, but for us, we set our sights on doing well in the BNI this year, and it's another opportunity for us to go there and, um, I guess, lay down a marker and, like you say, take control of that ball. Yep, um, and obviously we're away from home again next weekend. Can we use this second half, as I said earlier, kind of a benchmark as to where we need to be uh, week on week? Yes and no. I think it, it, each week it's different. You have to play different teams, different styles, um, and you have to adapt accordingly. But the one thing you, you can't take away is the work rate, the effort, and that's what's needed every time you at home and when you go away from home. But even more so, I'd say, on the road, you've got to turn up with the right attitude and you've got to be prepared to work hard for each other. Well done today. Uh, Barney, a 31-7 win away at Hartbury this afternoon. As a statement, that's a fantastic victory, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, uh, good result. It's a very, very tough place to come here. If you look at all the other teams that have come here, it's been a very, very tight game. Um, it was for the first 40 minutes, and then just second half, we start to click a bit and uh, put some points on. A real satisfying one. That must feel really good, a, a some very strong team performance this afternoon. Yeah, there was uh, some, a lot of good stuff. That's still stuff we can still work on. Um, set piece could have been slightly better um, if, if, we're, if we're tough on ourselves. But again, they were a very good team. They've got, yeah. they're, they're well drilled, um, so it was always going to be a tough game, which is come away with five points. Uh, well uh, one of the main positives has to be the defence, I guess, doesn't it? They scored early on, but apart from that, we kept uh, effectively a clean sheet. That was a real positive. Yeah, we've, we've put a bit of a focus on our D the past couple of weeks. Um, and just, yeah, our line speed, our, uh, when we did attack the breakdown, we just had decision-making in them areas was really good. So, uh, well, much better anyway than it has been previously. Um, just looking back at the match, how crucial was it to get that try right on half-time? Just could put us down the tunnel with a bit of confidence, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't even remember what try it was, but... Yeah, it was to go in half time ahead after, which was a pretty poor 40 minutes from us, uh, was, was a good good omen kind of thing, but uh, and then we did kick on second half. A uh, nice try for yourself, a little pop up from Alan Walker. Um, I'm not sure their defence were expecting it, but it uh, allowed you to crash over, didn't it? Yeah, it was from about 25 metres out, I think, um, and then I uh, just, just, just trotted over, over the line. Um, and some great tries in the second half as well. We showed, obviously, we absorbed a lot of pressure, but hit them on the counter attack a few times, didn't we? Which was very pleasing. Yeah, yeah. It was just, um, just keep ball. We, we said when we get into the, 
their 22, we're just going to try, try keep hold of the ball as much as we can and we ended up doing that, we, we played nice and tight and then the spaces were going to come wide and obviously Lunny's sat out on the wing and uh, as he always does and he's just popped over for a try. Yep, um, the set piece was outstanding today as well in terms of the line out, that functioned very well. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, we obviously were very hard on ourselves, um, set piece went really well last week and it's about if we can kick on from that and probably for the first 40 minutes it wasn't good enough defensively anyway where we needed to be. Um, we changed a few things at half time and we, we did put pressure on them. So. Again, positive, but still, still things to work on. As an, as an away performance, particularly that second half, can we use this as a kind of a benchmark for the rest of the season, do you think? Um, I'd say it's, it's up there with our, one of our better away performances, um, considering what we, again, away at Nottingham, Rotherham, things like that. But it's a tough place to come, and to come away with five points and to only concede one try is a um, job well done. Yeah, I know it's the last block of the match, uh, the last block of league matches, sorry. So we uh, built this up in the week, didn't we? And it's just a, a massively satisfying one to, uh, to come away with five points. Exactly. Yeah, it's uh, last one of the of the league games. Then, so it's good to take the momentum into the two BNI games now, and then again we can kick back into the champ uh, a couple of weeks after. Well done today. Of course, this afternoon a 31-7 bonus point victory at Hartbury. You must be absolutely thrilled with that one. Uh, thrilled with the second 40, Ollie. Not so thrilled with the first 40, but overall uh, it's it's an outstanding win. It's a very tough place to play. Um, we. We were ahead at half time, but didn't really function in a lot of areas. But I thought, uh, to the boys' credit, second half, I thought we were outstanding. Yeah, we scored five tries, so it looks like a, a fairly comfortable victory. But was the uh, was the defence one of the most outstanding things this afternoon, do you think? Uh, certainly the line speed. I think yeah. once we, we got our noses in front, we, we really uh, went after them and, and forced the errors. And we, we, we still got to look after the ball better, but look, it's, it's an outstanding win. And as I said, in a tough place to come. Yep, um, we effectively, obviously, conceded early, but effectively after that, kept a clean sheet. So that must uh, must really please you. Yes, it does. Still lots to work on, but as I said, it's uh, it's the last league game now in this second block, and it's, it's a great way to finish. Yeah, um, that score just before half time was uh, very much needed, wasn't it? Just to uh, inch ourselves in front before the break. Yeah, look, this game's about momentum, and as you say, we, we wrestled. I thought they were they. they Played some really good stuff in the first half, and we, we hung in there. And as you say, to nick the sky, the try just for half time just put us in a good frame of mind without having to actually play to our potential. But second half, credit to the boys massively. I thought they really kicked on. Was that possibly the, the best away performance in terms of that second 40 we've had so far this season, do you think? Yeah, look, there's still, I think we, we play really well in patches. I think the challenge for us now is to, to really move that forward and, and, and put in a complete performance. But as I said, second half, I'm, I'm delighted with. Yeah, uh, obviously a few tries on the counter-attack as well in the second half. Didn't create a huge amount of chances, but just seemed to take them when we got them, which was uh, a massive positive. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I just it, it's, Pressure comes in different ways. It doesn't always have to come from putting the ball through the hands. It can come from turning teams around, squeezing teams, forcing poor kicks. And I, I thought we did that well second half. And, and when we had the chances, we, we uh, capitalised. Yep, uh, that's the end of this league block. A real positive way to finish it. Massively. Uh, look, we, I think the boys are growing week to week. We've put in some really outstanding performances. There's still more to come from this group. Um, obviously, we attack the BNI now next week, which again is an important competition for us, but we'll reflect on a really positive second block.